morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lloyd Hughes, and I form part of the primary markets team, which falls within the capital markets division of the JC. On behalf of our CEO, Nikki Newton King, and the JC, I'd just like to wish a very warm welcome to Emphatic International Limited, its sponsors, advisors, legal team, and to each and every one of you here today that have had a part to play in bringing this company to the market. We do understand that this is an extremely exciting time in the life of a company, and we all feel extremely privileged to be sharing this moment with you here today. Good morning, everyone, and indeed it is an enormous pleasure for us to welcome you here to the JSE, all 500 of us here. And I do like to also make special mention of our CEO, Nikki Newton-King, who's here, and to say that she really made a special effort, Charles, this morning to come for this listing. So this is our 19th listing on the JSE this year, and indeed we're extremely excited about this one. This is the fifth special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC as they're referred to, that we have listed. And the uh, introduction of the SPAC structure was one of the innovations that we made at the JSE back in 2014. And Infotech is moving into an industry that is high growth, one that is driven by very important global trends, the change in consumer behavior, the change in regulation around the financial services sector, and the change and evolution in technology itself. And Charles, I want to say that we welcome you to, to, uh, to beat these drums. We also look forward to you blowing the kudu horn in a few years, so we have high expectations. Uh, but the Altex board is a board that we are very proud of here at the JSE. We've had about 100 companies, a little over 100 companies list. We have 60 companies that are on the board now. And you might say, well, what happened to the others? Well, 30% of the companies that have ever listed on the Altex board have migrated to the main board of the JSE. So Charles, I hand over to you, but we do congratulate you and welcome you most warmly. I think it is a wonderful day for Infotech International today, 17th of November, and the start of a very exciting journey for the company. It's a remarkable how quickly it has happened. The company was formed on the 19th of August, and in under three months, we've got to the stock exchange. And I think that's some kind of a record. I think the speed of the process deserves some sincere thanks to a number of people. Firstly, I'd like to really thank our investors in Infotech for believing in the company and its future success. The Infotech founders and directors for the support and each of them personally investing in the company and believing in its future. To our chairman, Richard Kane, fellow executive directors, Kevin Boyes, Greg Voigt, directors Robin Frew, who flew up today for this auspicious occasion, thank you. Um, Sabia Munchi, Andrew Springate, Christopher Lister-James, and Colin Rezik, thank you to all of you. Marcel Gonzalves and his team at Merchant Tech Capital, who gave us the SPAC idea, Howard Palkovitz and his team at PTA Attorneys, Andrew Cadman at RHP, who's gonna look after our money, so all your investors, your money's sitting with Andrew in the escrow account. Ian Forster and his team at Grant Thornton, Jacques De Beer, who has looked after all our PR, and Lisa Derbury from Acorum Secretarial Services. I thank all our advisors. Infotech has a strong underlying pursuit to change the world, to make it a better place, to drive the need to bring financial services to all, maybe making people's lives easier. Traditional banking business models did not work for all. However, the digital age and growth of the mobile phone has changed this and brings an exciting fintech industry with new, innovative, cost-effective, workable business models. So, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I thank you all for joining us this morning, and I look forward to this exciting journey that we embark on today. Thank you. Obviously, everything you see going on here is a dumbed-down version, if we have to call it, of the actual trading system, which, incidentally, everyone over there is standing right on top of. So the trading engine is below your feet at the moment. Don't jump too hard on there, please. If you thought your, your listing of the spec was fast, you'll be hopefully blown away by the speeds of our trading engine. It takes the trading engine about 100 microseconds to think 
to receive an order, to know what to do with it, to place it in the right way, and to send it out to the market. So we're talking about 100 microseconds. You take 250 milliseconds to blink. So you can think about those speeds. Three, two, one.